The third kind of path tool is what's called fill pixels. Um, it's the least flexible of all the tools, um, or at least the, the, the path utilization tools. And, um, but nonetheless, here it is. Uh, first off, once again, we need to look at our options bar here. And we need to pick this third little choice, which is called fill pixels. And whether, again, you use the pen tool or you use one of the shape tools, doesn't really matter. Um, and as soon as you make a shape, boom, it's going to be filled automatically with whatever, once again, the foreground color is at that time, which is, in this case, that the green. And it simply filled this area and dumped it onto whatever layer was selected. In this case, this one right here, right on top of the dune. So um, if you were going to use this tool, I would highly suggest you create a new layer. Make sure that is what is active so that you can isolate this because now you just have a, a big rectangular green mass on top of the dune and you can't uh, separate it. This did not show up in the path dialog box and it is not a path that can be edited um, like the uh, this other one that we created earlier um, is uh, the the shape layer it's not like that doesn't have that flexibility and um, so if this is literally just a chunk of of, of green pixels that were uh, stuck here um, and that's all you can do anything with it um, so uh, you just got to decide if that's got some kind of usefulness to you. Um, the other thing uh, that is the other part of these um, pen tools and path tools is another one that is pretty darn nifty. And that is, um, I mentioned earlier, but let's look at it now. When we look at the shape tools, um, we have not only the regular shapes, but we have this custom shape tool, custom shape tool. And this has some very unique features. When we pick the custom shape tool, and I'm going to do it from up top. I'm going to go back up to the options bar and show you. When we pick the, the shape, custom shape tool, we're going to get something very special going on right over here. And that is, first, we pick it. And suddenly we have a, some new options. And this one happens to be a dialog box that gives us a group of custom shapes. Okay, We don't have that with any of the other shape tools. There's nothing like that. There's some filters and that sort of thing. The same group of filters we've seen in a number of places. But with the shape tool, custom shape tool, we get this whole group of little symbols and there are many others that can be added and the bottom line is these are vector shapes that we can simply come over to our canvas and voila we can uh, draw a shape with these uh, tools and um, um, once again it's not uh, something that is is editable as a path okay but we can um, when we first created it we could size it um, in whatever way we wanted and once again I might just put it on a new layer <coughs> create a new layer and then we can uh, create and draw any of these shapes um, custom shapes onto our canvas and not only do we have all of these shapes that we have right here again we can make them any size we want while we're we're drawing okay and I could have changed the foreground color and filled it with a different color we can add uh, uh, some additional symbols here. Once again, when we bring this up, we go over here to our, our little options button, kind of, this is kind of like the old-fashioned op options button, and 
there are a group of different ones here for you to pick and they can be added or can replace the objects that are already there for instance and this is important if I say add some others another group of them you have OK cancel and append what do these things mean append means add the new shapes to the palette without removing the old shapes if we say OK it's going to replace the old ones completely they'll go away and the new ones will be here if we append in plain English that means add the new ones to the old ones and keep them all there so generally we want to append um, the symbols and uh, so we have an awful lot of them at our disposal quickly at our disposal the other